insurgent chiefs who had been born out of wedlock came forward with the support of renegade priests to proclaim rank and inheritance over the established heirs of the gods of the lands and chiefdoms. Changes in heavenly rank among the hierarchy of gods became ever more frequent, even more frequent. The hereditary priests uh, began by Paul created great feathered images and idols of various deities of Ku and Kanaloa. The priesthood promised that whoever worshipped and fulfilled the desires of these images and idols would come into possession of all the lands of the separate chiefdoms as one great kingdom. So they, they keep telling them, oh, pervert, pervert, idol worship, worship these images. You get everything you want. So they, they, they pimped us. They tricked us. Like how they do women. They turned us, tricked us out, and the and the creator said, "I don't need you. You ain't shit." This caused great wars between the heirs of the ancient feather images and idols of Lono, and those of the upsurging Ku. The ancient worship of Kane, which is the creator, the ancient worship of the creator as the originator of the gods, was reduced to a minority of priests and chiefs and would never again regain its past power over the chiefdoms. Let me repeat that. The ancient worship of Kane, which is the creator, Haya Haya. The ancient worship of Haya Haya as the originator of the god was reduced to a minority of priests and chiefs and would, would never regain its past power over the chiefdoms. What, does that sound familiar to you? The, the, the originator of all the gods. Created all the gods. Being placed in the back burner. And never again reaching this power that it had. Until today. With the exception of Kauai Island. Kane was cast aside. So. My, my family's island. Kauai kept the Kane, the creator priesthood alive the creator was set cast aside in the same way that the christian old testament was cast aside in favor of the new serving only to bring the new into light now how is that right on the spot with the exception of Kauai island the creator was cast aside in the same way that the christian old testament was cast aside in favor of the new Serving to only bring the new into light. What did we do? We cast aside the old. We said Jesus. We said New Testament. We don't care about the Creator. It's only about Jesus now. We don't care about the Old Testament. It's about the new now. That's what we did. That's what they did. Why, why did they do that? Why did they do that? Because they took you from the Creator. What did they say? Huh? Why did they do that? We are so distant from this, from the Creator today that many now doubt or totally believe in the existence of the Creator. But they are no longer aware of or able to feel or awaken the inner pathway within themselves that leads to and from God. Like the first plague that besieged ancient Egypt, the three streams turned to blood in all chiefdoms of Hawaii. The images made of feathers and idols made of wood or Hawaii's great stretching rod of Aaron. Who's that? Aaron. Right? Worship the cow. Born were chiefs from this bloody narrow stream. Born were chiefesses from this bloody broad stream. Born under a cloak of bloody feathers was Lono. How only my kini nui ma mo. To call upon the most remote and supreme descendant of the god Lono. His was a name filled with prophecy and prose recital that recalled the time of the original emulation of the god Lono, of the time of tranquility when men came from afar. Yet it was name, name containing an omen that warned of a time when wave after wave of men would, seen, would be seen moving in company soon after. His father, Hiapo, called Iokop 